All right, so you field dress this and you're pumping that thing out? Yeah, I'm just trying to get the piston out. There you go. Is that the air? Yeah, that's the air yeah. side there. Okay. Interesting. And then you use these and then yeah. plugged them back in, tapped them out to loosen them from the lowers, pulled off the yellow cap. Yeah. Use snap ring pliers yeah. and the wrench to unloosen that and then just pump that air spring out. Yep. Wow. Okay. So there we have that. So if we wanted to say you had the other fork, this is a 20 mil spacer, you would then pull all these guts down and you would put this spacer on right what? here. Oh, and that's that, the that travel reduction. Yeah. So that, that would get you if you wanted to lower it to 60 mils or, you know, this air rod's the same as a Fox. And so there's 10 mil spacers you could put in there if you wanted huh. mecker. You know, mess around with yeah. it or something. Maybe we needed less travel, but we don't. If need you that. need it, but <laughs> or like if you had the other hundred mil fork and you wanted to lower it, or oh, whatever I you see. wanted to do. Yeah. So there's an O-ring on this piston. So and we can put a new one on there if you want, since we have it apart. And what is this grease here, the gray stuff? This is uh, slick honey, well, or some form of. Oh yeah. Okay, I've got honey. I got that stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Is that gray color okay, or does that mean it's something? It's fine. Okay. No, that's every one I've taken apart. It just, I think, just from the cycling and whatever, the aluminum, the spring riding up oh, and down. Oh, sure. It just yeah. kind of, yeah. you know, you can still see there's some clearance there to yep. it there. I tore my fox apart and it had gobs of that stuff in there. I yeah. Like, <laughs> so, let's see here. Interesting. And then we'll pull so, it. nothing comes out of the damper side then, right? No, we can pull that out if you want to have a look at it. Uh, we would have to basically, well, I'll just go get one and show it to you then, rather than pull your over it and put it back together. So you lube it up with some slick honey and then hit it with oil nope, or just no oil, oil? just oil and put it back okay, together. And that's your air cap there. Yep. Use the so, machine down 1 16th. Oh, what size is this again? Yeah, And if you bought a socket, you oh, want to one machine it down. It's super easy to do. And these are, oh, these are just those, okay. They're just replacement O-rings. Since we have it apart, we'll just put yeah. new ones in. And that'll, the same O-ring goes on the top cap yep. as goes on the piston Yep, there. right here. Oh, it goes the same. Oh, this, is this the piston head? Yeah, that's that the piston that head. Okay. Yeah, it floats on there. It doesn't actually connect. Ah, I see. Okay. It just floats on there. Gotcha. That's it. Yep. That's kind of the only interesting. So what are your thoughts on cutting this in half? Yeah, you could do that. I just take it to the belt sander and sand it down. But Can we do that today? Yeah. So a little bit of 20 weight just in the top. Isn't that just going to leak out the bottom? Now? Oh, you've got the no, I got the, you got the spring in there. there. I got you. So, so what, like three, four cc's uh, of that stuff? I don't even know. I just put some in there. I got you. Just, and then that way it's always, I found that it's always... Uh, you coated this in it. Yeah. 20 weight. So no slick honey. Nothing on that, that. Just, just straight up 20 yeah. right there. And I found that that oil just puts a barrier up and down there yeah. that the grease doesn't seem to do. And the oil is always sitting on top of there and so the things don't uh, leak air then. Oh, that makes sense. Is this... Uh... Since I'm kind of a noob, I'm all obsessed with torques and all that, you know. Oh, you just I have no tighten idea. it up pretty good. Yeah. I have no idea yeah. what the torque is. Never, there's never been a manual. There's never I asked for, hey, what should we do with this? And I got absolutely nothing out of the company that makes this stuff. So, so you put that on there. And yeah. you screw. That's it. That's the only yeah, that's screw it. in. And then yeah, we'll we shaved our bumper down about, what, 10 mil off of that? Yeah, probably, at least. Back with the snap rings. That was another guy trick, right? <laughs> so, just a little bit of air.
bumper. Is there any reason you couldn't go really low with that bumper? Go I mean, we could take it off. I just don't have a whole good way to hold on to it. I mean, do you want it less? I'll, I mean, I'll do less. All if you the want. more. Tra I just didn't know what's appropriate, but more travel the better. Yeah, let's, uh, I guess. I mean. Go. Scientists try to work there. How long has he had this bike? Um, uh, twelve months. Okay. So depending on the amount of riding, I mean, you look inside; it's not. These things don't come with hardly anything in there to begin with. Oh, yeah. So, cool. I just kind of add a little bit more back in there. And then this thing, of course, now that we've got it all lubed up, he's going to go out and ride it, and it'll, you'll want to take a rag with you because it's going to weep some of this out of the top. Oh, huh, okay. Out the seal. Oh, sure, yeah. Gotcha. Good. Yeah, I've got another little boy. He's going to inherit this one, so I just okay. kind of wanted to do what I could to yeah. keep it up to par. Little brothers always get the shaft, right? Yeah. And the downs. Okay. Those aren't the same, are they? No. One's What's got that? the rebound nub on it. Yep. Gotcha. So, yeah, this one's got the rebound, so. Is that a spark plug? No. No, that's just a regular, yeah. uh, what is it, 9 millimeter? Mm. This is where I just can get a little. Sometimes the little square, there's a square in the end of there. It's got to meet the square in the other one. And sometimes it doesn't go and see, hmm. move it back and forth and get it to. I gotcha. So it'll screw in there. And then this too, I, I don't know what to expect, but I don't go that tight. Sure. So oh, that's it. In there. And then this thing here, sometimes that thing ends up. In, in an area where you're like, oh, how am I going to get to that? Which it is right there. We can't get to it. So, Did you have... Does this spin around? Or? Yeah, that spins. Okay. So, see that spins? And yep. then you, the rod in the end there is what you are going to... There's an indentation. Okay. So let me get yeah, some like a little set stuff. nut in that? Yeah, it's just dished out a bit. Uh, so let me... But there's no like perfect spot that that needs to be. Oh, you mean the little yeah, course. this rod that needs I to gotta, pop out. Gotta, well, no, I gotta turn it so we can get to it because see, it's uh, the the div the detent, the detent yeah. in there is right on the inside. Gotcha. Of it. So we need to turn. It needs this. to get rotated around yeah. so that you can. So, uh, yeah, it's not the little spinny thing here. It's the little no, tip of the rod it's there. The tip of the rod that's got to I see. I see. There we go. See it right there? Gotcha. Yep. See the See detent? And so now, it's like this. Wait, hold on a second. Maybe I don't see it. It's, it's in this little nub right here? Like, is it a flat spot? No. It, it's just a, a 
A little divot? You can see, see half of it right there. See the little cutout? Oh, I it's see. It's dish. inside yeah, of this. Ends. I was thinking it was on top of this nub, which no. would be dumb. Okay. I got you. There it is, right in there. Yeah. So you need to spin that around. Yep. And then so open that, it up with that, and then and then we can get the whole thing. Slide this back on. There. Lined up, set screw. And this thing too doesn't go on super tight. Right. So because then it smashes it, and then it won't turn at all. Ah, okay. So that does go on a little loose. So by design. right there, it's super tight. If you just kind of back it off just a smidge, now it's easier to turn. Ah, very cool. How much rebound are you doing for these kids and? stuff I mean I <laughs> I've struggled with setting that up in my own fork I do too I just kind of uh, I kind of push the, the bike down mm -hmm. together on the stem and the seat and, yep. go, and just kind of want it to equally feel like it comes back equally the same okay I, makes sense the on the like the Fox shock in the back I do three clicks on the rebound so 